Lauren and Gary here from USA Tough. In today's video, we're going to show you how to install a USA Tough Cooler Graphic Wrap Kit. Okay, to start, we're going to tell you about the tools you need in order to install your kit properly. Gary's going to go over those now for you. Hi, first you need uh, proper material to clean the cooler, which we recommend lacquer thinner. You're going to need a clean rag, a squeegee, an X-Acto knife, a bottle of clean water, preferably drinking water, or if your water at home is good, then just use that, and then a couple drops of dish soap. So we have our clean bottle of water, spray bottle, and any type of dish soap or soap will do. You only want to use two tiny drops of soap. One, two, that's it. You've received your USA Tough kit. Comes in a three by three box. It's rolled up. You want to take your kit out of the box, lay it flat with the rolled side up. You can use cardboard, a towel, and to try to and lay the kit flat and lay something on top of it so you can get it smoothed out. So your kit will look like this when it's all smoothed out and ready to install. Okay, now we're going to clean our cooler. You want to soak down your rag generously with lacquer thinner. You can see how dirty the cooler is. So you want to get all this off. Clean every inch and every corner. Cleaning the cooler is the most important part to having your USA Tough graphic kit stick properly. Now that we've entirely cleaned our cooler with lacquer thinner and a clean rag, it's time to do our dry fit. Okay, before uh, starting to install your cooler, you want to do what's called a dry fit. This makes sure that you know where all the pieces are located before you start the installation process. Gary's going to show you how to do this on this cooler model. Hi, so we have an Arctic 45. We're going to do a full kit install. You want to lay out your pieces, uh, inventory what you have. You should have a lid, four corners, front and back, two sides, and two small inserts. You can see that the kit is uh, flat now, it'll be easier to work with. So the process of taking it out of the box and uh, laying it flat and laying something on top of it to help it smooth out is beneficial. Two different size holes. This is why we dry fit. Wrong piece. Correct piece. Okay, now that we've dry fit all our pieces, we know that all the pieces fit and where they go, it's time to start applying. Now we've moved our cooler to the ground because it's going to be easier to get a visual alignment of the top of the cooler. So applying the graphic on the top of the cooler, it's very important to get a good visual and know exactly how the kit lines up on the cooler. Okay, now we have our spray bottle with a couple drops of uh, dish soap in it. A squeegee, it's a hard rubber squeegee. If you're going to use a hard rubber squeegee, you want to wrap it in a t-shirt type cloth material so you don't scratch or mark up the top of the graphic kit. Okay, now we dry fit our cooler top again. It's very, very important to keep dry fitting your pieces as you go along. We're going to peel the backer on the back of the graphic kit and then we're going to apply our soapy water and we're gonna apply it to the cooler and then realign it and then squeegee it out. Okay, now I've got a, some help here. You can do this by yourself, but it's easier if you have an extra set of hands. Uh, Laura's gonna hold the graphic. I'm gonna peel the backer off. 
You want to peel it slow so you don't tear it because then it makes it harder to get the pieces off. Like I did there. And I'm just going to pull this one piece off. And our puppy Malibu is going to run away with the paper. Now we're going to take our soapy water. We're going to soak it generously with a mist. Water will not hurt the adhesive. Water will not hurt the installation of the kit. Water is your friend. So we're going to spray the graphic. We're going to spray the top of the cooler. Malibu's going to drink the soapy water. Now we're going to find the front of the cooler. We're both going to grab it. We're just going to lay it on lightly. Now I can readjust. We've done our dry fit so we know where the cooler needs, where the lid needs to be on the cooler. Okay, now that we've got our lid kit aligned, we've checked all the distances. There are plenty points to look at to know that the lid kit is centered properly on the cooler. Now we're going to start squeegeeing the water out. We're going to start from the middle and work our way out. We're not going to push down on the edges. We're not going to set the edges yet. We're just working on the top of the cooler. You can hear the water coming out. Don't be afraid to squeegee this. Keep squeezing it now. You see a big air pocket right here? We're going to look down the cooler with the light. And look for air bubbles. Make sure we get them all out. Now on this cooler it has raised letters of the name of the cooler. So we're just going to keep working around that and then I'm going to show you how to set this and then it'll set the lid kit around the raised logo and it'll look embossed. You want to squeegee, squeegee some more and keep squeegeeing. You need to get all the water out. most important thing again is dry fitting and then fitting the graphic kit on the top of the core make sure it's proper to line. That's how you're going to have the proper and best result. Now that we've squeegeed most of the water out, we're going to wipe the top of the cooler down with a clean rag. Okay, now we're going to set the graphic with a heat gun. I would prefer you guys use a hair dryer. A hair dryer does not get as hot as a heat gun, so you can control the heat better. You do not want to get the graphic so hot that it starts to melt, and it will melt. You'll be able to leave fingerprints in it. If you get it too hot, it will stretch. Once the graphic cools, it will set in place, and the heat helps it, keep it keeps its shape around the corners and bends. Again, always keep your hand in front of your heat device so that you know you're not getting your graphic too hot. Okay, now we've got the top set. We've squeegeed it out. We've looked down. There's no air bubbles. We're going to take a hair dryer. I'm using a heat gun. Do not use a heat gun if you're not confident that you cannot overheat the graphics. So a hair dryer works perfectly. So we're going to have it on low. And then we're just going to slowly start in the middle with your hand and you can feel how hot it is and then we're just going to work the graphic in. Now you can see over here in this corner there is a logo and you can't see the logo but if you heat it slowly and work with your work around the logo you can feel the logo through the graphic. You can see that the logo and the graphic We'll start to adhere. 
around the logo. The graphic will appear around the logo and then the logo will start to show through. setting the uh, graphic in place with the heat. The heat will dissipate the water and help the adhesive do the initial setting onto the cooler. And then uh, once this cooler kicks on, it's on. Now we're going to install the front piece here. I'm going to show you a couple tricks of the trade. We want to dry fit the piece again, align it, and look all the way around it so you know how it fits. Okay, now we have our front piece graphic. I have a razor knife and our soapy water. I'm going to peel this back. I'm going to cut half a section off. Make sure that you don't cut into the graphic. I'm just going to fold this flat. I'm going to spray the back of the graphic with our water. I'm going to spray my install area. Now I have paper on one half still, so that will not stick. So I'm going to hold up the side that doesn't have the paper on it, and I'm going to align it because I visually aligned it and I know where it needs to go. I'm going to visually align it. Get my proper adjustment, know how it goes, and then I'm just going to lay it flat. I'm going to squeegee from my paper side to my adhesive side. And then all I do is peel it up. You can see my other side stuck. This will set the alignment for the other side. I already have water down. And then I'm going to hold this up and just squeegee this down slowly. You can feel the adhesive, even with the water, just grab. Okay, now I have my front piece squeegee down. I'm going to wipe with a clean rag. I'm going to wipe off all the excess water. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to look down the kit. Look for the glare. You can see the air bubbles and stuff. Use the light that's in your room. And just squeegee it out. Keep all the water off. installation video. We hope you enjoyed it. As always, feel free to let us know if you have any questions. You can reach us online at usatuff.com. On behalf of myself, Gary, and Malibu, we want to thank you so much for watching the video today.